What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here from Darium's Pokemon. Today I'm going to be reviewing the top 10 card artworks from the newest set, Ultra Prism. I'm really excited to do these videos. I'm excited to get to do more top 10 videos on the main channel. Our plan is to do some more of these. Let us know what kind of top 10s do you guys want to see in the future. Bottom 10s, top 10s, top 10 card artworks, you know, best attacks, worst attacks from what sets, old cards, new cards, all of that. What do you guys want to see? Let me know in the comments below. We're starting off with the newest set, Ultra Prism. Really cool set. A lot of great artwork in this set. Now, I know a top 10 artwork, what, Andrew? I know that's just like your opinion, man. That's like, I mean, it's just your opinion. I think this looks cool. You think that looks cool. Sure, but I do have an art education, I actually. My, I went to college for art and photography, so I do have, like, know a little bit about what I'm talking about when it comes to artwork. However, even in the realm of fine art, Art and art education it's still kind of just my opinion but that's fun it should all be in fun there's a lot of great artwork kind of just want a video to show it all off and this is what we got there are a few things that I'd like to shout out as honorable mentions before we get started first of all escape Skateboard! A skateboard is my favorite card in this set. That card looks insane. Uh, I love a skateboard. If this list were entirely up to me, which it is, but if I thought that anybody else would agree with me, I would have put a skateboard as the number one coolest looking card in this set because I consider it to be the coolest looking card ever made because I love skateboarding. But anyways, a skateboard in my honorable mentions, I still think kind of objectively it is a pretty sweet looking card and especially the secret rare version is definitely awesome however i understand that not everybody loves a skateboard as much as i do i also want to shout out an honorable mention to the sneasel and weavile line both of the card arts on those look super cool love how that sneasel is just relaxing there on the bed just chilling and super i think like cyrus is in the background or something a really cool looking card art for sneasel i love sneasel sneasel's got a lot of Sweet art in the history of the Pokemon Trading Guard game. And then Weavile kind of surfing down that ice mountain thing. Super cool as well. I think Leafeon GX also shouting out to Leafeon GX is an honorable mention. Didn't quite make my top 10, even though it is a pretty cool looking card. Just didn't think it was quite as dynamic as some of the other GX cards in this set. And then both Full Art Zerkatry and Full Art Celesteela, I think, get nice upgrades in this set, very cool looking artwork, especially that Celesteela. Love just like the big Imperial look to it, very cool. And the Zerkatry, love the contrast, black and yellow, black and yellow, very cool looking card uh, for Zerkatry GX as well. But now, time to get started on the top 10 Ultra Prism card arts from this newest set. Starting off with number 10, gotta give it to Boost Energy. Super Boost Energy, I think, is just a sweet looking card. Not only is it a brand new prism art with the holographic prism on the bottom there, but also, to my knowledge, it's the only energy card that has ever given four energy for one energy card. So it's insane, it's got four energy on it, and then I love the kind of paint splatter effect with the rainbows coming out of it. I think it's very effective. It communicates what it does very effectively just by looking at it. You look at this thing and you're like, holy smokes, that thing gives your Pokemon a lot of energy and it probably energy of every type. And that's exactly what it does. So I think it's just a very dynamic card and kudos to the artist of this card because I imagine that it's not exactly easy to make, you know, these four colorless symbols look you know, like they have movement, look like they have dynamic, you know, essence to them. Very cool, very dynamic, nice card artwork. Number 10 goes to Super Boost Energy. Moving on to number nine, got to give the number nine spot to Looker Full Art. I think all of the, the Full Art supporters in this set look amazing. And I was very impressed by Looker Full Art. I think just it's a very cool, stern card. You can tell that he's kind of maybe on a detective mission, looking for something, sneaking around town. I love the complement of the orange and the blues on this, uh, on this card artwork. How like kind of half the card is blue, looks like it's in the shade. The other half is orange. They complement each other very well. The card is just really cool looking. I think just this stern 
look on Looker's face. Very sweet card, very nice artwork, very slick, very impressive, looks awesome when pulled out of a pack. Gotta give the number nine spot to Looker Full Art. Moving right on to number eight, keeping with those Full Art supporters, Full Art Mars. Full Art Mars is an awesome looking card. It kind of reminds me of uh, the Hunger Games a little bit with her outfit, you know, the dynamic kind of swirling flames behind her. I think she's got some very striking looking eyes. The hair looks great and it's got this kind of painterly effect to it. I think Full Art Mars, she's striking an amazing pose, just very, very cool. And this thing, the contrast is good as well. The black of her outfit balancing off of the flames in the background, the black on her eyes, you know, making her red eyes look very striking. Very cool card. Love the Full Art Mars. That's what we got for number eight. Moving on to the number seven spot. We've got another Prism card, Solgaleo Prism. I love this Solgaleo Prism. I think it looks super sweet. I love how he's just, you know, moving forward into the frame. Solgaleo is just bursting out of the flames. Very cool, very dynamic. I love his pose, very strong, very intimidating looking card when you put it down. And again, uh, the Prism cards just look amazing to me. I love the black border on the Prism cards as well. This is probably, in my opinion, one of the coolest Solgaleos printed so far. I just love how dynamic it is. Love that black border, the contrast you get with it being a metal type as well. And even if you look a little bit closer, just the frame of the Sogalio, you can notice those little prisms outlining the frame of the card. I think that's super cool. And then of course, the nice holographic prism there at the bottom. Just a very striking looking card. So that's our number seven spot, Sogalio Prism. Moving on to the number six spot, had to put an evolution in here. We got Glaceon GX. Now, the regular art Glaceon GX is my favorite art from this set. I love how dynamic this card is. You can see snow in the backgrounds. If you look closely, you can see snowflakes, the texture of snowflakes in the background. You can also see mountains, snow swirling around this thing. You can see like the glare off the card. Looks like the sun is a shiny and bursting off of the snow and reflecting. It is just such a cool dynamic looking card. Love the pose, love how like Glaceon's little hair things, you know, hair glacy thingies are waving in the wind. Just an awesome looking card. I think this is kind of your quintessential Glaceon pose. Very cool, very beautiful. One of my issues with some of the other Glaceon arts, I don't like how high the text comes up on the card. That bothers me just from an artistic perspective. Why does the text need to come so high on the full art Glaceon card? That bothers me. So I love the regular art Glaceon, how, you know, Glaceon's face has plenty of room to breathe and there's just a lot of motion to the card. Love the swirling of the snow in the background. Awesome, awesome looking card. Moving into our top five, we've got to have a Necrozma in here. We've got Dawn Wings Necrozma. And I love the regular art Dawn Wings Necrozma. That's actually my favorite of the three. If I had to play one in a deck, I would definitely choose the regular art. And it's just because I love the contrast of that black against the ice and then against that galaxy background in the, in the back. That just looks amazing to me. You can see some lightning strikes coming out into the purple galaxy background, just such a cool looking card. The glowing of the eyes, just how epic looking is this thing? You really can't go wrong. I mean, very dynamic, it's got those big black claws out there in the foreground, a very nice looking card. And I love how the Lunala wings are made of ice. How cool is that? Just an amazing looking card. Number five, gotta give it to that Don Wings Necrozma regular art. The full art's pretty cool, but I love the regular art. It is my favorite. Number four, we've got 
Dusk Mane Necrozma GX. Again, I love the regular art, though the full art Dusk Mane Necrozma GX is amazing as well. And what I love about the full art is that contrast between the black and the silver. Really an epic, striking looking card. You pull it out of a pack and it is just staring you right there in the face. Very cool. Love the boldness of that full art card. However, the regular art is just so cool. The gold, like the gold essence of the Dusk Mane Necrozma is just so sick to me. That is amazing. I mean, it looks like it looks like you know a Super Saiyan on steroids or something like that, flying through space. What's not to like about this? I mean, it literally looks like Super Sonic. This thing looks like a gold Sonic flying through space, combined with a Necrozma. I mean, that is just an amazing looking card. Love the lightning bolts bursting out into space. Very, very cool. Excellent design. Very dynamic. The text is, you know, at the bottom of the card, giving the face of the uh, Duskmane Necrozma plenty of room to breathe. Love that claw coming out into the foreground, giving it some motion and some depth as well. What an excellent card. Duskmane Necrozma coming in at the number four. Now, our top three are all incredible artworks. And they're all uh, just really, really good. It was hard to differentiate, you know, what should be on top. Now, these are kind of just my opinion, but I've heard a lot of other players really talk about how great the card art is on these as well. Coming in at number three, we've got Full Art Lily. Now, there has been another Full Art Lily. This is the second Full Art Lily that we have, but this one is really cool. I love just the painterly kind of rainbow effect kind of bursting out from behind her. Just a very cool, cute looking card. I'm sure a lot of players will really, really like this card. It's just very striking. I, I saw someone pull this out of a pack and it was like glowing. I mean, I love just that the green and the pink and the blue behind her. Very, very cool and she's striking a nice pose. It's just very cute, very cool, very dynamic, a great full art supporter card. So full art Lily coming in at the number three spot. I just think it's a really, really well done card. And I love that background kind of bursting out behind her, really helps draw attention to this card when you pull it out of a pack, just really striking, really cool. Full art Lily, number three. Moving on to number two, I think this will be many players' number one card in their hearts. It's my number two because I've got a different number one, but Full Art Cynthia, the most expensive card in the set, one of the most expensive cards in the set. Uh, I guess the gold ticket cards are probably still a little bit more expensive, but Full Art Cynthia, this thing is a boss. I mean, look at Cynthia and this card just pointing out into the distance, the purple background looking really great with her black outfit, and the blonde hair swirling around her. This is an awesome looking card. If you were to play this thing in your deck, have it in your binder, no matter where you got it, this thing looks impressive. Full Art Cynthia is a very striking looking card. She looks strong. She's wearing her suit, her pants. I mean, she looks like a strong woman. And this supporter card, is amazing to boot. I mean, it's a strong supporter card. She looks like a strong woman. The card art is amazing, dynamic, bold, nice contrast with the gold and the black and the purple. Just a really cool looking card. Love the full art, Cynthia. I mean, they did a great job with this and this would just be an amazing addition to any Pokemon's uh, collector's collection. I mean, it really will. And I actually, I don't even play many full art supporters in my decks, but I would really love to have some full art Cynthia to play with in my tournaments to come. Now, for the number one card art, this card is insane. I can't believe it. I saw this card and I was blown away at the artwork on this card. I could not believe how cool this thing looked. The number one card artwork from Ultra Prism. Lusamine Full Art. Look at this card card. I mean, contrast this Lusamine full art with the other Lusamine we have, the blonde Lusamine that we're used to, and this black hair 
dark, you know, ghostly looking Lusamine is so cool. Looks like she's in a trance. She's got these yellow eyes and evil looking Lusamine. So cool. And I believe this is the moment in the game where she's combining with the Necro, uh, not the Necrozma, when she's combining with the Nihilego as well. What a cool moment. She's combining with an Ultra Beast. I mean, how sick is that? And they've captured that moment so beautifully in the card, just that she is just this dark essence, right? And then she's taking on the Ultra Beast form and becoming the villain. What, I mean, what cooler is there? What cooler idea is there than that? I love that they've captured a bit of the story in this card artwork. It's so striking. The contrast between the blacks and then the rainbow colors of the Ultra Beast as well. How cool. I mean, just an amazing card all around. I saw this thing. I couldn't even believe that Pokemon had made an artwork that, that was just this neat. So interesting. So much going on. And with the story included in there, just such a sweet, sweet looking card art. This is going to be a must have for my personal collection. Trying to get my hands on this full art Lusamine as soon as I can. This will be a great addition to any collector's collection it will stand out pop off the page in your binder this thing is amazing and is my number one card art from Ultra Prism. So thank you all for watching the video. Let me know what do you guys think of the artwork in Ultra Prism. Surely there's something that I forgot to mention that you guys really like. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of my ranking? How would you have changed it? What card artworks do you guys like from Ultra Prism? What kind of top tens do you all want to see in the future on Dariums? Thank you all for watching. Make sure to hit me up on Twitter if you want to let me know directly at enjoyfriend, E-N-J-O-Y friend. If you want to let me know what you guys think of the video. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell. Peace.